This to me is fascinating. There's so many different pieces of this. But when you hear Kelvin Benjamin, who's traded away from there, with these comments now after the fact about Cam, what's the first thought that enters your mind? Sour grapes. I don't think Cam Newton deserves this publicly. I think it comes off as personal. It's one thing to talk about its accuracy. It's another thing to question his knowledge. It just so happens the best season Cam Newton had, where he won MVP and led his team to the Super Bowl, was the exact one that Kelvin Benjamin was injured. And so once he elevated his game, and then now Benjamin did return last year. And this time last season, I remember looking at the footage of him showing up at training camp looking like an offensive lineman. Yeah. So I know now looking in the rearview mirror at a team that he's going to be on in Buffalo versus one in Carolina that he won't have a better season playing with them than he would have done if he was still with Carolina. And, and can I, on Cam himself, it is the very rare athlete who can be, by many people, underrated and by others overrated at the same time. Do you believe that Cam Newton is underrated or overrated as you sort of sit back and assess where he is generally thought to be in, in the overall context of quarterbacks <laughs> well, in, in this time? I, if I have to pick one, he's overrated. Because the way he's talked about, because of the MVP season, because of getting into that Super Bowl, who he was in 2015 is not who he's been throughout his entire career. It felt like he had finally built to something and then was turning a page and become somebody that would be a top five, at the very least, top 10 QB. He's regressed the last two years. And it's weird because, you know, Kelvin Benjamin's somebody who's like, okay, dude, you know, what's going on? But we sometimes get more mad at the messenger even if he's giving us the right message. And this isn't the first time you've heard. Like, I remember doing some radio shows with Willie Colon, okay? Played offensive line in the league forever. And he was criticizing Cam Newton, okay? So this was another player who was just criticizing him. I said, Specifically give, I go, for give, what? Exactly. Yeah. I go, give me something specific. He goes, Super Bowl. He goes, there's a certain blitz that Denver ran. He goes, he didn't pick it up. He goes, there's not another quarterback that wouldn't be able to figure out. He didn't figure it out the second time. So, like, sometimes we get really scared about how we're talking about any athletes. We start questioning knowledge and their intelligence. Maybe we don't like Kelvin Benjamin, but I, I find it kind of fascinating that somebody that was his teammate is – is echoing other things that you've heard about Cam not developing the way we thought he would. My answer is underrated. And one thing about being a former teammate is just that. You can say negative things about any person that you play with, work with, was in a relationship with. Anybody can do that. And the reason why I say underrated is when we talk about the top-tier quarterbacks, Cam Newton is never discussed. When we did the list of top quarterbacks in the game, he probably wasn't even in the top ten. I think we for, thought for, he was going to go there, though. That's why maybe right. there's a disappointment. You're right. Now we don't put him in that top Correct. five. But to me, he deserves to be in that conversation. I think now they have the weapons. He's going to be healthy. He has North Turner. He's going to catapult himself back into a tier one quarterback this season. They were very close to getting out of that first game last year against New Orleans. And if they do, who knows where they wind up in the playoffs last year.